everyone and welcome to another episode of Is It Worth It? Where I go around the world and the internet trying to find supplies that will make you a better artist or just make the process that much easier. In today's episode, we are going right back to budget markers and right back to Five Below, where I have found another set of $5 markers. So this is 12 alcohol ink markers in the script, no company name, but it is five bucks and 12 markers and they're alcohol based. So let's go check them out. All right, so as you can see, this box is not anything awesome. <laughs> it's a clear plastic box, pretty cheap as far as the construction goes, held together with a piece of tape. Um, it's got a nice little creative thing here, you know, where it does little words and allows you to see it's like, you could be creative, you know, so there's that instantly marks the $5. So yeah, see what's in here. So the tape is awfully strong, so that's good. All right. You know, the big issue when it comes to 12 markers is the fact that you don't really have a lot to work with. And so even if these are really cool, you're not going to have a lot to, to, you know, to use. Although it seems as though they have numbers like 50, 58, um, 30, 63 and stuff like that. So in theory, there should be more of these, but I just, because there is absolutely no company, you know, like there's no company name, there's no actual name to these. Uh, I'm very doubtful that there's going to be any extra colors beyond these 12 markers here. As you can see, it's a very roundish, it is very round marker casing. And so, you know, it just, you know, they, they just roll. So it's something that you have to be worried about. The caps themselves actually have an indent in them to give them a more stylish look to them. The the actual marker itself feels like a like a Prismacolor marker, right? It's sturdy, but it definitely feels like plastic, right? So, but it 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 feels like a regular marker. Nothing too too exciting about that. Um, the chisel nib looks fantastic. Looks exactly like a um, prism color marker nib and so does the um, so does the bullet point it looks exactly I mean to be honest this looks almost exactly like a prism color marker uh, except for the indented caps okay so it has a nice snap to it right so your markers are at least gonna stay on there you know how they'll stay dry so that's good but i can instantly tell that these are not right these are not going to connect in any way shape or form so um definitely fails the marker test i mean the cap fails the cap test all right so let's go ahead and try some let's try this one I mean, the ink flows very nicely. Oh, it, that first, that first drop though, you know, you, you get that extra, extra bit of ink. So, I mean, it is a wet medium, so you gotta watch out for that, but there are certain markers that actually do less, right? So they'll, they'll drop it less, but you can just see all of these extra dots from when it, from when you start. So if you're actually trying to if you're actually trying to like write or something like that, you have to watch out because you will actually get a big glob of ink at the very beginning. The coverage is nice, All right? Takes a little bit longer to, at least with this marker, to actually get that full coverage with that, uh, the bullet point. But man, with the, <laughs> with the actual chisel, comes out real nice. I mean, you got to give it to this $5 marker, right? The ink, the ink flows really, really nice out of this marker, right? And that was a dull, like a dull pink. Oh man, look at that vibrant, what is this one? Fluorescent rose, right? Almost a neon, a neon color. So 
So, but the ink flows, you know, like I said, the ink flows out of this really nicely. Five below marker set. Not bad. Let's try the yellow. Because yellow is normally a tricky color for, yeah, see, unless that dries a little green. I mean, uh, if unless that dries a little yellow, it's actually coming out green. You see that? See how it's coming out green? So we'll have to check on that a little later once it dries, but as of right now, that, that color's not the color that it's suggesting. I mean, the thing that you have to give it these these budget markers right now is that the actual vibrancy of the color is fantastic right I mean it's very bold very bold colors the the tips are fantastic these chisels are nice gives you a nice variety right and the ink flows off really nice oh look as that yellow is drying it becomes really yellow so okay but it's more like a, it's almost like a neon yellow that it said that it was pastel, but that is a very bright yellow. All right, so you definitely have to test, test these markers as far as what, what color it will actually end up once it's dry. I think that that goes for a lot of markers. But in this case, you know, like that yellow went from a green to a neon yellow. So they're pretty, I have to say though, they're pretty consistent except for the yellow. They're pretty consistent with their cap once they dry, right? So we have that, that's a, that is pretty consistent with the color that it actually is once it's dry. So. That one, not so much. That is definitely fluorescent, but as far as the purple, you know, like the purple goes and the orange looks like it's gonna, it's gonna dry that way. So what you see, what you see on the marker is what you get once it dries. So we're gonna try this red, see if that's the same thing. But you cannot fight the, the actual marker coverage of these, <laughs> these $5 markers from five below. You know, I'm actually, the more and more that I do these Is It Worth It's, the more and more that I see that these budget markers that you can find at like Walmart, um, Five Below and stuff like that really have some nice markers. The problem is, is that there is only like 12. Like that is, that is their biggest issue is that, hey, we made these really cool, you know, kind of off brand markers, but you can only get 12 colors. So if you need these kind of 12, like if you see like this red, right? That's a very strong red. It's really good. If you want a really bright yellow and you know, you're like, oh, well, I can spend $5 and get a couple markers that I really, really want, you know, as budget, budget markers, then that's great. You know, and, and put them in your alcohol based marker set and, you know, just go to town and you can, you know, you can get five or six or 12 if you're like oh all these markers are great you can get these 12 markers and then add them into more of a more of your expensive set because these i mean these colors are great they're they're going nicely they don't bleed anywhere you know the the color's not expanding all over the place these are these are really nice you know, <laughs> these are really nice markers i'm gonna try these greens then we're gonna try and blend it i have two colors all right, we're gonna see if we can actually blend the two colors together. But right, these I mean to be honest, these remind me of Prismacolor markers. The nibs hold up really well. These are not refillable. You know, the, the nibs are fine, the ink flow comes out. I mean these budget markers, look, look at how nice that color is. Like that's such a nice, vibrant rich green right that's really good like and it it just comes out 
nicely. Now, the one thing that I have noticed is that if you are making lines like hatch marks or whatnot and you go over it, you will see that other mark. So it's not like it goes down at its full opacity. When it goes down, it's like, okay, that's nice. But then when you go over it again, it's gonna have marks over it, right? Like you can see that how when it touches, right? There's another another color over it. But these are not these are not liners. These are not meant for that. Like you have to put some type of you know amount of ink down. But it covers quickly. It dries really nice. And for the most part, the color that you the color that you see on this tip or on the marker is the color that you will get once it dries. So that's really nice. Like I, I do enjoy that. Now the greens are probably the closest. There we got two greens here. They're the closest ones we have. Everything else is kind of far apart. So that's another thing. Like you're not gonna take these and really blend them together. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna attempt to see what'll happen if we take this green, right? Take this green, and I know it's a huge jump. I can I can already tell, but I'm just gonna come and mix those two together and see what happens, how they interact. So they're instantly pulling apart, right? So you can see that, right? So it's instantly pulling those apart. So I'm gonna try and go over this one more time. Right, but it, it it started making its own blend. So now, like, right, we're gonna try and blend those together and see what happens. Maybe we can get a nice little fake blend with these greens. And then pull this out just a little bit. All right, we're gonna see what happens when that dries. And while that is um, while that is processing into drying, we're gonna bring out our markers, or our liners here. All right. And we need one more because we all know, right? The identity pen always smears. Like we've we've established that the identity pen is the one pen that always smears, but we're gonna use it anyway. All right, so I said this is the, you know, the, the liner test. So that's the identity pen. This is Copic. Micron. The last time we did a budget pen or a budget marker from, um, from Five Below. Still, the last time we did it, the Micron held up the best. Is All right. So there, there are five, right? And look, but look. So now we're coming through and we can start looking, right? It's not. I mean, it pulls it up. It makes it really fuzzy looking, but you do have a nice, like, transition here, just by two markers. Like, you can make that work. The problem is there is only, as I mentioned, there's only twelve markers, and I have not found that there are more than that. Okay, so we're gonna do three colors this time, especially since we have such fluorescent colors. So we're gonna use this yellow, we're gonna use, um, we're gonna use this fluorescent rose, and then we'll probably use uh, red, let's use red. All right, so these are the three colors that we're gonna use for our, um, that we're gonna use for our test here. All right, and so, probably do it like this before it runs out. So we'll start with the yellow, just gonna go straight up and down, right? Like so, let's see what happens. And we're gonna do the fluorescent one in the middle. Right, and coat it, and see what happens. And then, red. All right, once it dries. And since we have a little bit more space, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and do this blue too. All right, let's see what's happening here. All right, so with the yellow, instantly identity pen is smearing, right? We, we see that, but as, as normal, the identity pen is the only one that's really being affected by 
uh, by the markers. Oops. Right, so the like I said, the identity pen is the only one that's actually being affected by the markers, but every other one is just holding up fine. Like every single one of them. That's impressive. That's absolutely impressive. So we just got done testing these $5 markers from Five Below, and I have to say they're actually really good, right? Reminded me of a budget Prismacolor marker. I think that if you have already a marker set, right? And you're like, I actually like Copic or I like Shinhan Art or I like whatever the case may be, these might actually be a very nice addition as just supplement for the color. So if you got this and then you looked at it and you're like, all right, well, let me see if I like the yellows or the blues or the reds or whatever. You can pick up this pack and get a couple markers for five bucks and add it to your, you know, your marker collection because the ink flowed well, the lines were nice, the nibs were nice, it had a nice snap, the cap didn't go on top of it, which was, you know, kind of sad, but uh, the big thing is like the green blended, it's sad that there is only 12 colors, but the green kind of blended, if you work with it a little bit, you can get a nice blend. And then of course the marker, the liner test, which was absolutely fantastic. The only one it affected, the only one it affected was the identity pen, which has been consistent with every single marker, but the Micron, the Faber Castell, the Copic, the Shinhan, absolutely nothing. Didn't affect it at all. So this is actually a really good buy. I highly recommend that if you have a hobby artist or a student who is looking for a couple markers, or if you're just looking to add to your own collection, this is it. Definitely pick these up. They're only five bucks at five below. It is absolutely worth it. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode and that you may have gotten an idea for a new set of markers that you might want to pick up. If you did, please like and share this video to anyone who you think might actually benefit from it. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I post content, you will be able to see it. If you have any, any suggestions that you would actually like to see me review, please drop it in the comments and I will add it to the list. Thank you guys so very much and I will see you at the next video.